What's going on guys? Sean Gus here back with another video. Guys, this is my favorite crop top I've ever done on no other than your boy Jackson Cuts hair. I hope you guys enjoy this video, but let's get right to it. All right, guys, let's jump right in. We're gonna do some blog graduation. I'm gonna saturate the hair. But real quick, I wanna tell you guys, I know blog graduation and setting your perimeter, you know, it's kind of advanced for a lot of you guys, I'm sure. And I believe I even heard Bazio at one point say that, you know, a lot of people didn't like watching his videos because he was doing a lot of this. And I want you guys to understand that Black graduation is not necessary on every haircut. And if you guys watch my videos, you know sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. But if you guys look at Jackson's hair, he's got really springy, really thick, coarse hair. And if I don't do the black graduation and I just start out with a two or a three or a four guard and I get a little bit too into the round of his head or above that parietal ridge, it's gonna really mess with the shape of the haircut. So especially with that texture hair, especially with a cut like this where I really wanna maintain that square shape, it's very important to do your block graduation. So we set that up. Now we're gonna go in and point cut. I'm not gonna take much length off. He's finally got some length that'll lay down. Uh, but we're just gonna do a deep point cut and get some texture. And guys, these are my brand new fresh shear. Six inch shears they just sent me over. Guys, I'm loving them. The guys over at Fresh Shears definitely hooked me up and I got another video coming of all the new shears I got. But guys, definitely check them out if you didn't see my last video, freshshears.co. Go check out the video, it's got a discount code. A lot of you guys grabbed some, so they hooked me up. Uh, like I said, I told them I was gonna send them some business and you guys proved me right. So we're just doing a point cut, guys. We're gonna give him some nice texture before we go in and cut the sides. All right, guys, so we're going to start off with a four guard. We're just going to go up into that block graduation. And guys, this is a cordless senior with a Omnicord ceramic blade. I did the filthy mod, and this is an Andis four guard with an Andis steel blade. So I got a video coming soon on that. The clipper is fire, I swear. I, I'm just tripping it. It has the sound of the master, the cordless, and the power of the senior, and I just love it. So I got a video coming on that. Make sure you guys stay tuned. So we set that up. Now we'll go in with our slim lines and set our bald guideline. Of course, then we'll bald out everything underneath that with the trimmer, come in with the shaver underneath and get it all the way down the skin, and then we'll start to work our way up. All right, so now we'll start with our open guideline. This is my Beast Mode Cordless Senior. If you guys have seen it, I actually just put it in a clear case on the bottom so the whole thing is transparent. I think it's super cool, but we're gonna do about a three quarter inch guideline with our open clipper, and then we'll come in from the bottom and start to work that line out. All right, so now we have the clipper closed and we're gonna to start to work the bottom of the guideline out. We're gonna take that up about a third of the section. You guys can see that's just gonna bump the bottom line up. It's gonna leave us another dark line above it and our clipper half open will take the rest of that line out. Now his texture is so dark that you guys are gonna see me come back with my slim lines really like I used to cut, uh, just on some really dark texture. This closed clipper doesn't quite get it all the way out. So now we have the clipper half open. You can see that section's kind of blended out, but at the bottom of that section, we still have some dark. So now I'm just playing with my lever, going through, making sure that it looks blended. And after that, we'll come in with the slim line and take that bottom guideline all the way out. So 
now you guys can see I'm just gonna scoop into that blend with my Slimline Pro and that's gonna start to lighten that up. Then you see I just flipped it over. That's gonna give me a little bit sharper. So it's gonna take out anything that's left that I couldn't get. Now we're moving on to the one open. And again, guys, we're gonna go a half inch to three quarters inch above that and work our guideline up. Now you guys wanna go over this multiple times. And if you guys can see, there's dark spots all throughout. So I'm gonna keep working this clipper open through it a few times to make sure that those dark spots aren't caused by not cutting that hair with the clipper open. So once I'm sure that I've gotten it all with the clipper open, now we'll close it up and start to work the line out. You guys can see I'm going pretty far up into that section. The closed clipper is gonna go two thirds up into the section and the line at the bottom will take out with the half guard. So you can see now we'll come in with our half guard and start to work the rest of that out. And of course, like I always say guys, the half guard sometimes may not get it or at any point in your fade, if it's not getting it, you may have to go back down to the guard below that, uh, the step that you did below that because sometimes your strokes kind of cause more damage than good. So you might put a line in with your one closed that you're really not gonna get out unless you go down back down to the one closed and get that out. So you guys can see that section coming together. Now we'll move on to a two closed and we're gonna go right up into what we started with our four. So you guys can see I'm not leaving a guideline. I'm just blending right into the four and the only line left is gonna come out right now with our one and a half. And just like I just said guys, some of the spots, the one open is gonna leave too much of a line. So we're gonna have to go back to our one open before we can get that all the way out. And now that you can see that the fade's coming together, you can still see some light and dark spots. So especially on this dark, coarse textured hair, uh, you're just gonna have to keep working at it. So now I've established my steps and now I'll begin to switch guards, work my way back down. You can see we have the one guard on now and we'll work our way back down and make sure that it's all the way smooth and, and as clean as we want, uh, you know, before we do the edge up and move on to the other side. All right, we're gonna go in and edge up his C cup. If you guys see my trimmers right there, I customized my skeletons and I've had a lot of people want me to make a video on it. So I believe I'm gonna do another set and I'm gonna make a video really specifically on how to take those apart. The painting process is gonna be the same as the other clipper cover that I did, but those clippers are kind of complicated to take apart. So I'm gonna break it down for you guys, show you how to take them apart, how to put them back together and uh, we'll paint them in the process, so. All right, we'll go on and start on this other side. Same steps as before, guys. And uh, we'll time lapse it and catch up here in a minute. Guys, this was a super cool haircut to do on Jackson. Honestly, guys, before I cut his hair, he got like a number three buzz his whole life. He's never had long hair. We've tried to grow it before, but after just a few weeks, it sticks straight up. You guys know he's been getting a number two on top with designs on the side for a long time, probably three or four years. So this was a big switch up. So I made sure the whole haircut that he could not see himself in the mirror. And uh, you guys wait till the end and you can see his reaction. He kept going back to the mirror and checking out his hair and seeing how he liked to style it and asking me if it was right. And I said, man, you just gotta figure out how you like styling. And he said, well, I've never styled my hair before. So we had a crash course on how to style it, how to put the product in and how to mess it up and kind of figure out how he liked it. So you guys stay tuned till the end and I promise you guys will love his reaction. Guys, this coat was a little different on him. I usually get a lot of room to stretch this fade out. And so it was kind of a learning experience cutting his hair. I hadn't cut it in three months, obviously. Uh, and usually we do a pretty stretched bald fade with a two on top. So this was definitely different. And it took me a little bit, uh, but the end result was great. And he was definitely loving the haircut. 
So we'll go in and edge up this side and we'll kind of be finished up. We're gonna throw some color enhancement on his C cup. Then we'll add a couple final finishing touches and you guys can check out the end result. He asked for something in the side. You guys know he always gets designs, so decided to give him a couple notches. You know, he always sees them on our haircuts and thought they were cool, so throw a couple notches in the side. And if you guys see, really you want these notches to hit the, the very bald area where the shaver is, so they kind of disappear. So as you see, I build these, they're gonna kind of stretch out and be really long. So I'm gonna go back in and bald out that area where the tips of these are so that we can get kind of a, you know, the bald area where they kind of disappear and then you have the thick area up in the dark hair. So you guys will see that here in a second. So you can see right there, they're a little bit too long. They don't really look bad, but they're not really supposed to be that long. So I'm gonna redo my bald area, just add it a little bit, take it a little bit higher, and then those will kind of disappear and come out of the bald area into the dark. All right, we're gonna throw in some 245 indestructible clay, give this thing some texture. And I don't know why I didn't even think about it, but once I got done and saw the front of his hairline, I thought, you know what? He definitely needs a little accent piece and we'll cut those bangs down a little bit. You guys know he always rocks the square front hairline, so make it a little more comfortable for him. So we're gonna go in, I'm gonna comb those bangs down, we'll give him a little accent piece, box him off, and you guys can check out the finished product. So I'm just kind of looking at how his hair is laying. It wanted to curve towards the inside uh, from that corner. So I'm just gonna accentuate that. And then I'm gonna comb it down and stop it where it's, where I got a lot of thick hair. I'm gonna see where it separates right there. And then we'll take the rest all the way across the front. All right guys, there's the before. My poor guy went three months without a haircut. You know he's never gone that long, but we finally had some hair to do something new. And uh, I think he's loving it. You guys hang out here in a second. You can see his uh, reaction to the haircut. All right, guys, there's the finished cut. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up if you like this cut. Subscribe if you haven't yet. We're almost to 4,000. Go show Jack some love on Instagram at Jackson Cuts Hair. And you guys can check out his reaction right here. Oh, ho, oh, ho, oh, dang. Oh, oh, my God, bro. That's tight. What do you think? Can you rock it? I mean, I'm rocking right now. That's tight. It's different, I'm it, saying, than you can rock yeah, it. Yeah, it looks so good. You can mess it up. It don't matter. You can, like, I mean, you can't do nothing wrong. You just put some, shake it up and it looks good. That's fire, bro. Yo, I look For real. Fresh. That's too tight.